Okay, we're going to go over a fusion versus fission, and they are two separate magnitudes, really. Fission is where um, you, they claim you break the nuclear bits apart, and, um, and that liberates a lot of uh, energy, which I'm sure it would. Uh, and then high, the uh, hydrogen bomb, thermonuclear bomb, uh, uses fusion, where it forces the protons together instead of breaking them apart. Two totally different situations, but both of them use a lot of the different uh, of the similar um, components of the explosion and and how it reacts. Now let's go over. Um, a fission first. All right, now this is fission. Now what they're going to do now is they're forcing everything to slamming the um, nucleuses together and, and fracturing them, breaking them apart and releasing energy. That's what they claim anyway. And, and um, my theory is that that could be true, but I also believe that most of it is related to just an, a, a, a repulsion, literally, of the electrons. Now, this is by Adam Central, and uh, here it goes. Now, this is the ground uh, zero here, and when it goes off, what I want you to notice is the extremely intense bright light, and then there will be an extreme shock wave that will go out like that, and then the core will rise straight up in the air, and that going straight up in the air, that's that didn't hurt anybody. After once it, all this stuff goes, and the shock wave goes, and the pulling and pulling back and forth of the air waves, and the light burning everybody, the core going up the air is not the part that that kills them. All right, so let's watch it. Boom! There it goes. Now I'll maybe stop it here and there to talk because that's usually what I do. All right, now look at what it's doing here. So first of all, what happened at the ground? You've got this, the electrons went everywhere. Now, why did they do that? Because they have a core of, of, of a massive core with a ton of electrons in there and forcing in with a ton of, of, of tight, tight nuclear particles. So when they crush it like that, it, it, it forces everybody into its own wrong regions. They can't be in there where they're supposed to be. So the electrons push everybody out. First of all, what will happen is everything goes in, and all the electrons are the little bitty pieces. They're the ones that can bounce easy. Boom, they go out. That's why you see the brilliant white light. That's all your electrons going. So now what do you have? You have a positive mass. Now, I, they claim that that positive mass is in the, in the midst of fracturing and shooting out little... Uh, particles here and there. Now they call them neutrons. They are not neutrons. There is no neutrons. They are electrons or electron masses, but they are negative particles. They are not neutrons. Now they may be protons and bits of protons because I can see even the light itself, even light particles can be split and I have shown that with our light experiments. When they interact with another field, they can give off a very tiny field. So every field is associated to a particle in my mind, whatever that particle happens to represent. It is something that spins through space. And as it goes through space, it, it is a, it, it's a monopole particle which has a charge. And any time a charge passes by anything, it induces a current into it. That is the nature of moving electric charge particles. When they go through a wire, they create the identical same patterns. So, let's go back to this. The light has gone everywhere, which is all the electrons that were in that mass. They're gone. Because you force them in, and in, in, they're so tight, and they're just like springs, and, boing, and they're gone. Now, what do you have is a positive mass. The Earth is a positive mass. 
The Earth is pulling the electrons. That's where light is coming from. It's pulling the electrons. It also pulls everything that has electrons attached to them, which is other matter. So the mass of the Earth pulls everything. It pulls light. It pulls other matter down to Earth. Although it does not pull positive things. If there is a complete positive, which this now has no electrons whatsoever, it goes up in the air and here it goes. Watch it carefully. This is where that nuclear mass is now. It's not down here and it is literally sucking everything up into the air with it. It's not blowing out here. What is it doing now? It is reforming. It's lost all its electrons. It's pulling electrons in from the ether now to reform itself into matter. And it's pulling them in, pulling them in, pulling them in. And, and, and now it's starting to stabilize and kind of calm down a little bit. And, okay, we're getting some more electrons in. We're doing all right. All right, so that is, and it, see, that's the initial. You see, that it's just completely 100% electron white. All right, so you understand, that is fission. Now let's look at the one that is a serious one, which is fusion. Okay, this is by Atomic Test Channel, and it's HD British Hydrogen Bomb Explosion Test. Awesome. Now, this is something we never want to see happen. I mean, Kim Jong-il has these things. And I don't know, I mean, he could have a whole batch of them. Who knows? These are not that sophisticated, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, I don't know what the big deal is. Everybody's screaming, oh, we can't have this millions of years out from this and that. I, I, this is not such a big problem. What you have here is an atomic bomb, a small one, wrapped around hydrogen particles and, 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 and very, very elemental particles. And it forces those in together, and it makes them fuse together. The hydrogen particles fuse into each other. And that releases unbelievable quantities of energy. Now, specifically why, i got to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure why that is so powerful. Uh, I'd like to understand it, but I don't. But I can see it. So let's see what we see, and then maybe somebody can fill me in on how this does work. So here we go. It's going to go off now. And, and, and again, what you have in a thermonuclear device, uh, hydrogen bomb like this, it explodes inwards and crushes the nucleuses into each other and, 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 and fuses them and gives off all kinds of energy. So here it goes. This is not good at all. All right, look at this. All right. And they have these guys out there watching it so, so they can find out what happened. Now look at what happened already. That's going off and it's already heading up in the air. It's still glowing like unbelievable. And here is the shock wave, the radiation of the shock wave going for out from around it. Okay, and they're all sitting here watching, having a nice time, getting a little sun. There it is. Look at this. Now, there's nothing here anymore at all. Look at that. It looks like a UFO. Look at that. That is anti-gravity. That's anti-gravity. And the reason that happens is because it's expelled all of its electrons. No more electrons here. It is a positive mass now trying to grab in all the electrons around it to consume them to become a, a, a non a, a, a non I mean to become back into matter let me put it that way because right now all it is is it's a half a piece of matter it needs to get all of its electrons connected back up to it to, 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 to code it that's what happens now so we know that this is going up in the air. So what else goes up? It all is just heat rising. Well, no, that is that's the actual core rising. Now, what else happens? Rises, hydrogen rises. Well, why does hydrogen rise? It's the anti-gravity. It's not because it's just because it's lighter than air. You fill it all up in a big bag full of it in the bag, and it still goes up in the air. 
it what it is is it, it, it it's it's only got one electron and it's got more of a positive mass than the negativeness that attracts it to earth so it's being pushed away from earth literally that's what's happening with hydrogen same thing with helium once you get into the more electrons in the orbitals there's enough electrons to be pulled to the positiveness of the mass but uh, a mass of the earth the positiveness positive mass of the earth will attract electrons if there's enough but when there's only one or two which is hydrogen or helium there is not enough against the positiveness of that element hydrogen or helium so it therefore rises away it gets pushed away magnetically that's what it is and the same thing with that that's a magnetic being pushed away from the earth and it will continue to pull electrons in until it works itself into a completed neutral mass and then it's then it's all over. But you see, it's the same thing. It goes straight up in the air. They're not going all over the place like this. I, I, I was just going to wrap this thing up, but I was doing those nuclear explosions, and, and this thing popped up with the five, five huge explosions caught on camera. This is by, uh, this is by, uh, we want more facts. Now, I did this, this, um, back when this happened. This is Tianjin nuclear, I mean not nuclear, but chemical factory. Now this is in China. This goes back a few years. And I was studying sinkholes and the gases that that collect in the sinkholes. And I just did a bunch of posts on it because the earth is, is, is literally collapsing. It's literally collapsing because of the sinkholes and the gases that are collected in these sinkholes and they're starting to explode now. Now, what I'm suspecting happened here was there was a chemical factory and they had a little fire here and it was burning up and they're looking out the window saying, wow, this is a bad fire. Now watch this. Here's what happens and here's what I'm going to tell you what happened. The, the, the fire was burning. Yeah, it's a fire. Okay, no big deal. All of a sudden there's an explosion. Well, the explosion caused the fabric of the earth here, because it was a serious explosion, to collapse into a sinkhole. So what you're going to see is the first explosion, they say, wow, what a terrible explosion. And then you're going to see, it should be almost out when an explosion like that goes off, because it's everything's wet, but then it starts up again, and it burns hotter than hell, and then it takes off. So watch what happens. I'll probably cut it in now. All right, here they go. Watch. Hazardous and flammable chemicals ignite causing this massive explosion. Over a hundred people were found dead and it also caused millions of dollars in damages. What well, do you see this? I think that might be a gas station or something. You're thinking, oh boy, look at that. Wow. Whoa! Oh. Now they think that's bad. But you watch this. Now, that shouldn't be there anymore. There should be. There should be nothing, but now look, look, look. It's the gases are coming out of the sinkhole. Where do you see this? Yeah, we're dangerous. Oh my God. Oh dear. Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Watch this, it's starting to go. There it is. That is a sinkhole collapse. That was not from the original Let's explosion. Yeah, this was about as bad as it gets. I mean, can you imagine being there? Oh my God. Watch this. this is, they, they're, they're taking it from some other shots. Now, this is a long ways away. Now, that's... Now that is the gases. That is the ga that's these kind of hydrogen gases that are in the ground, these methanes and these extremely serious gases, atomic gases. Look at that. Now th th this this is what's being uh, is, is underneath the surface of our earth now. And there it's filling up with these gases and when they go off, they go off. So Probably not a good thing, but, you know, if we could stop it somehow, it would be pretty nice. Okay, once again, no plan at 
Mud Falsa University, once I went into this and uh, I just showed you some explosions. Where do you see this? I did this back uh, <coughs> August 2015 after following this volcano for a few years because it had exploded prior. Now, so uh, I'm watching this here and uh, they're showing this. They thought it was a UFO. Now watch what happens. Down here, there's going to be a, a, a flag waving. Okay, uh, here we go. Very, very, very intense. Okay, it's uh, for, well. Here, let me go back to here. It's burning really hot. See, see that? That is the kind of a flame from hydrogen. Here, I'm going to turn intense. myself I'm off. Gonna this, um, I'm going to try to explain this, you know, so I don't have to have two of us of myself talking. <laughs> now, what happened was there's nothing here, and then all of a sudden you start seeing a flag start shaking. Well, that flag was shaking because the sinkhole was collapsing. See it? Watch. See it shaking? The sinkhole's collapsing. Then all of a sudden it goes poof, and it catches the fire. There it goes. Now it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Now this one is a very, very low, slow collapse. That's what's going on here. Now instead of just playing around with this, look at how intense this flame is. This is that's that's the glow of that hydrogen. That's the hydrogen. Now this thing was doing all kinds of stuff. This volcano is collapsing now, and they're shooting things out here and up in the air and all over the place. And at the end, when that finally collapses, it does the pulse that shoots up through the air that people see, and and. This one just happens to be on fire, but you would not see this if it was one that was not on fire. You see that thing shoot up in the air? If this was not on fire, see I'm shooting back and forth, it would just shoot a beam up. That's my anticipation. I could be wrong. But now as this thing just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, the volcano now is collapsing. And at the very end, let's come out here so you don't have to spend all day here. All right, it's getting worse and worse. You see this one here, this one here. Now watch, all of a sudden that one's going to go whoop, and that'll be the end of it, and it'll explode into a beam of light. You won't see it, but trust me, boom, there it goes. You see, and then the trails of things going off, and that was the end of it.